clothes. I, I, look, don't be like him. I know he done changed outfits five times. This guy, man. Because our people are bugged out, going out of their mind. But that's really demonic possession. Right, See what right. what you think is demonic possession is what Esau painted to you. Right. Ah, got your head spinning around, spitting green juice. <laughs> but the Bible would call it demonic possession if, if you couldn't speak. Right. If you were deaf, that's a demon. You have a spirit on you. Right. Or if you were hurting yourself, that's a that's a, a, a spirit attacking spirit. Mm. So he got demons on him, man. He's, he's got a demon on him. Every corner got it. But the only way to get demons off you is to come closer to the Most High. That's right. That's right. You got to pray and fast, and you got to keep the commandments, man. That's right. All right? You got something? Come on. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 20. Bring it out. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Come on. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And that's what you're right. seeing, your teachers, man. You're seeing them right now. What's up, fellas? You guys know the Bible? Yes, sir. What you know about the Bible? I know about the Bible. Who's Jesus? He's our uh, Messiah. He's the Messiah. Is he? He's the Son of God. Is he God too? Uh, yes, he is. The Bible say that? I think so. Where does it say that? I think so. He is God. You say what? He is God. What's your name? Taylor. Caleb. Taylor. 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 Yes, sir. Why you believe that? Because that's how I was raised. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever study it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What school? Uh, St. Pius. St. Pius? Yes, sir. Catholic school. Yes, sir. And they taught you that Jesus was God? Uh, the Son of God, the Messiah. Oh, okay, so you don't say that he's God. I go to Episcopal school. And they say he's God. Yes, sir. What scripture is that? Uh, Isaiah 30, verse 20. First Corinthians 11 and 3. Bring it out. I want to ask them other questions. Show it, show it to him. It's the book of First Corinthians, chapter eleven. Wait, wait. Kay Taylor goes to Episcopal school. Is is First Corinthians New or Old Testament? New. Very good. Right? Right. He's correct. What does that mean to be New Testament? After Jesus. Oh. Yes. Read it. It's the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 3. Bring it out. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. Is that is it like that in your home? Yes. Your, your dad runs the house. Yes. And your mom is fine with that? My mom passed away. I'm sorry oh, to be lost. But that's the way it's supposed to be. You agree? What's your name? Lucas. You agree? Yeah. I agree. All right. Time. And the head of Christ is God. You agree with that? You agree? Yes. But you said Christ is God. Yeah. Read it again. Salakia. And the head of Christ is God. So yeah, Christ is God. Whoa, That's not what it said. <laughs> it said the head of Christ is God. The head. The head of Christ. Wait, let's look at the line of reasoning. Yeah, yeah, about body Christ is over the man. Yes? yes? Man is over the woman. Yes? yes. God is over Christ. Yes? yes? So how can Christ be God? He can. He, can. He, he got it. Now you got to go back to your <laughs> Episcopal <laughs> school and you got to tell them that they lying. Lying. He ain't going to do it. You man of your word? <laughs> he ain't going to do it. You know what? Hey. All right, you got something? Go ahead. Just read it loud. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 28. Bring it out. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye love me, ye will rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. That's, that's, that's Jesus Christ. He said his Father is greater than him. So where did this Trinity idea come from? Your school. Yeah. And the and the and the missionaries and the fathers, right? They wear the black with the cincture. Yeah, I went to a Catholic school. Marcel and Champagnat, Maris brothers, French missionaries. There it is. Say what? Yeah. 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 Right? So y'all can learn a lot up here today. 
What, what nationality are y'all? I'm Caucasian. Caucasian. Caucasian is not a nationality. Oh, American. American is not a nationality. That's right. European? European is not a nationality. That's a How many nations in the Bible? Uh, guys, you guys go to Catholic schools. There's 18 nations in the Bible. That's it. Right? Why you agree with me? Why you don't require no proof? I like y'all. Fine. Just agree with everything. And you got to give me all your money, too. <laughs> say agree with everything I say. You agree with that. <laughs> right? Give, uh, give it to him. Head it to him. Send the money. Oh, okay. So, so certain things you require proof, right? There's 18 nations in the Bible. What nation are y'all? don't know. I don't know the nation. It's not familiar. You ever heard of Noah? Yeah. Noah got three sons. Right? I want you to answer me a question. Noah got three sons. Who are they? Abel. That man said Abel. <laughs> Abel is the son of who? Adam. It's the son of Adam. Cain and Abel, those are Adam's sons. That's right. Who are the sons of Noah? Well, all right, who's Noah? Noah's Ark. Noah's not the Ark. <laughs> he made the Ark. He made the Ark. Why, why did he have to make the Ark? God flooded. Say what? Why did God flood the earth? Because of bad people. God doesn't like that. When the earth is filled with bad people, he'll destroy this place. Right? So Noah and his family, the only people that survived, right? Yeah. You got a father? Yes. You have a father? You guys all have your fathers. Y'all look like your fathers? Yeah, I look more I like do. my mom. If I saw your father, would I be like, how are you his son? Or would I be like, it's possible? Uh, my dad looks like him. You probably require some proof. I wouldn't be like, it's possible that you're his son. Uh, or would I be shocked? Like, how are you his son? I wouldn't be shocked, uh, right? Yeah, you, you wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked. No. Right? Now, Noah. The earth was destroyed, right? Everybody got flooded out, right? Yeah. Only Noah. Oh. But there's 18 nations in the earth. Right? 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 right. So we all come from Noah, right? Mm -hmm. So you come from Noah. I come from Noah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, you got to think about that for a second. <laughs> if you come from Noah and I come from Noah, we all come from Noah, yeah. right? Yeah. You guys believe in Noah? He don't believe. I don't I believe it. You believe in the Bible? Somewhat. Somewhat. What don't you believe? Well, I just don't pay attention to that Yo, yo, yo. Why are you being right, rude? Right. 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 Not now. Not now. Why is he being rude? Hold on, brother. Don't talk to him. Shut up. We talking to We talking to Taylor? Hudson? Lucas? I can't hear him. Henry. Henry. And Henry. And Henry. Henry and Lucas. Because we're talking to them. That's the dancing. Uh, Is that the dude that be dancing? All right, ignore him. So now, if we come, if we come from Noah and you come from Noah, and we got the same father. Wouldn't people be like, how is he your son and he your son, right? Yeah. That would be a stretch, right? But we all agree, we all come from Noah. See what I'm saying? So how does the Bible explain how y'all got here and how we got here? I'm unsure. These are questions you got to ask and if you go to Catholic school, they better show you these things, right? Is that a question you never thought about to this day? Where do the different races come from? If we all come from Noah, we all got the same daddy, shouldn't we all be the same race? Yeah. But there's 18 different nations, right? I, I'm, you believe that, right? You, if you've asked that? I've like, never asked that question. Where do the different nations come from? So, one nation that comes out of Noah is called Ham. I'm gonna show you these people that come out of Noah. Go get Ham, and you're gonna tell me who these people are. No, he's got to read it out of the Bible. Genesis 10. You got it? Ham. Ham is one of Noah's sons. Ham. Ham. It mean, means hot. Ham. Read. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 10, and verse 6. Read it out. Genesis. And the sons of Ham, Cush. That's Ethiopia. Yep. And Mizraim. That's Egypt. Uh -huh. And Foot. 
that's Sudan and Canaan. And that's like Southern Africa, right? What, what kind of people are those? Put Sudan. <laughs> what, what kind of people are those people? You don't know what an Egyptian is? You don't know what an Ethiopian is? What kind of people are those? African. What do they look like? Dark people, right? But they come from Noah. How can Noah give birth to dark people unless he's a dark man? Agreed? So you gotta be asking, where do we come from? Pursuant to the Bible, right? You know, biblical doctrine is there. Genesis 25. And this is something I didn't learn in my Catholic school. They was, they was more focused on teaching me like the history of Catholicism instead of the Bible. You feel what I'm saying? So I never learned nothing. Genesis 25, read. Started where? 22? 21? 23. 23? Let me start 21 or 23. Whoever you wish. I'll start As 21. long as you, they can understand. Just so they get the whole thing. This is Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. Yeah. And Isaac entreated Yah. Wait, who's Isaac? That's why I started. You, he said, you know? No, I, I said you're asking us. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, why you got your man out here with no jacket? And why do you have shorts on? <laughs> it's cold as hell. Yeah, it is. He's dressed for the weather. <laughs> He's comfortable. Go ahead. He's comfortable. He's comfortable. <laughs> 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Isaac is the father of Jacob. Who's Jacob? You guys go to all Catholic all school, of them man. Go to Catholic school? All of y'all go to Catholic school. No, I go to Episcopalian. What's the difference between Catholic and Episcopalian? They I don't, I mean, you know what an Episcopalian is? I heard of one. I think they're Let, like what? Let him tell us he's a he's a first witness. What's an Episcopalian? It's pretty much. I mean, it's just another Christian school. I mean, I don't, like, why is it a different group? I, I really don't know. You go to the school. I, <laughs> exaltation. <laughs> I don't. It's the exaltation of the epistles. Say that. Say. I don't. So it's the exaltation of the epistles. So to be yeah. Episcopalian, you focus mostly on the letters in the New Testament. That's right. There it is. But you got to fact check that when you go back to school. Isaac is the father of Jacob. Jacob is the father of the Israelites. That's right. That's right. That's, right. That's what we are up here. You met Israelites today. Who are the Israelites? God's people of Israel. God's children. Say it again. God's children. God's people. God's people. Mm. Now, how can we be Israelites and the people in Israel be Israelites at the same time? So, to be an Israelite is more your belief system. Does the Bible say that? To be an Israelite, you have to descend from Jacob. From the seed of Jacob. Where does Jesus come from? What tribe? Oh, man. He don't go to... Don't look at him. <laughs> what tribe does Jesus come from? All right, I'm going to try you. I don't pay attention that much. <laughs> He's real. He's real. All right, Jesus comes from the tribe of Judah. That's one of its 12 tribes. So Jesus is an Israelite. Where's Moses come from? The tribe of Levi. That's right. Where Paul come from? Where does Paul come from? The tribe of Benjamin. He should know that. He should know that. He said he never heard of it. never heard of that one. You, you, you never, never heard, heard of Moses? Never heard. Oh, I've, heard, I've never heard of the tribe. You heard of Paul? Oh. Yes. Now we learned something. Paul said I'm an Israelite. He, of Hebrew of Hebrews. Now, do you see why people resist us when we say who we are? Uh. It's because they've never been taught nothing like They don't know none of this doctrine. This is the doctrine of the Bible. What's your, what Bible version do they use in your school? NIV. ESV. NIV. That's common English. Right? We use the King James. The NIV is based on this. The NIV is like taking the King's English and making it modern English. But they don't have the authority to do that because you can add and take away ideas when you do that. So the King James is the best Bible because it's verbatim translation from the Hebrew and Greek. You understand? That's right. Oh, Read on. This is uh, verse, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. She had a baby. She got pregnant. Come on. And the children struggled together within her. What happened? The children struggled together within her. If children are fighting in her stomach, how many kids she got? She got twins, right? Yeah. Go ahead. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? If I'm meant to have these babies, why are they struggling inside of me? 
And she went to inquire of the Lord. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. What the Lord say? Two nations are in thy womb. So now, this is the thing you got to think about. This is biblical doctrine. How can twins be of separate nations? Impossible, right? So this is a miracle in the Bible, right? Read on. Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. So there's two manner of people in her stomach, right? Read. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. Read. And 24. And when her days. Oh, come on, man. What's up with these guys, man? We can't. Why, why are they surrounding us, man? All right. I get annoyed because I like the Bible to come out. Man. We got all these strange people. Got Verse 24. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. Now, what we confirmed, she had twins. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And that was a miracle. And they called this name Esau. Now, when we say red, we're not talking about the color of your national shirt. We're talking about flesh color. Everybody else in the... We just read for you. Noah gave... The, Africans come out of Noah. Libyans, people from Ethiopia and Kush. So that's the only people that's out here. Dark people, right? But the Lord just said a different manner of people is going to come into existence. It's the first one. The first time this is going to happen. And when, and when that baby came out, he was red, right? Now, what, what, what not, what, if you were to call us a type of people, you would say, I talk to these what guys in the street? You would say some black guys, right? But my jacket is black, right? That's right. I'm not black. Yeah, come here to work. You guys know colors. Yeah, yeah. Come here to work. Nobody's black. And you never see nobody this color. But you guys will be called white guys. But this is white. The top of their brother's shirt is white. That's not even white. That's gray. His mask is white. And you never seen nobody, even the most pale person has never been that color. Right? So these words are not real descriptors. So the descriptor of a so-called white guy in the Bible would be red. This is the origin of so-called white man from the Bible. That way he come from. Because... We already com confirmed that Noah, everybody's, he's making dark nations. He's making African nations. White people ain't up there, right? They don't look like that. They look like us, right? This is the Bible's teaching of where white people come from, right? And who's your forefather, according to the Bible? This is the nation you come from. And they called his name Esau. Have you ever heard of that character in the Bible, ever? Yeah, I've heard of him. What, what do you know about Esau? I've heard about it. I don't know much about him. I... You don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he knows something about Esau, though. Is he the one that... Uh, yo, yo, hold it down. Is he the one that betrayed his father? Or, uh, the stew? Okay, then he knows of the... He knows of the story, but not how it goes. It's right, close. Right. Okay. Did he get the inheritance? Ah, yeah. yeah. Read them the account so they can have it right, because it has nothing to do with his father. It's Twenty-seven. It was between Jacob, yeah, it. who's his brother. See that? We call ourselves the sons of Jacob. That's right. right. And Esau is his brother. Should I read how Jacob came up? Or just like, jump to on him, because his father was like blind in bed, just to make him feel yeah. so he like be recognized as his. Exactly. Okay. So he knows. You do pay attention. It's coming yeah, together. It's coming again. <laughs> Read them the account of the blessing. Right. And where Esau... I'll start at verse 27. He said he betrayed his father, but that's not what happened. Read huh. This is Genesis chapter 25 and 27. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, and Jacob a man of the field. I mean, slack it. A cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat his venison. His, Ven his, his venison. What's venison? Oh, dear me. Dear me. Huh. I had deer chili before. It's good. It is. Yeah, good. It's kind of tough. Nah, it's good. It's good. You gotta put it in a crock pot for a, long, a long time. And Rebecca loved Jacob, and Jacob sawed pottage. And Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, "Feed me, I pray right? thee, with that same red pottage." This is what he was talking about. For I am faint. Therefore, was his name called Edom? Yeah, you're talking about the blessing. Chapter 27. He wanted this. I want this. I want this. I want you're this. talking about the blessing. He wanted the pottage part. Go ahead. Um, Salakia. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, mm. for I am faint. Therefore 
was his name called Edom. Now what happened? And Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. There it is. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall his birthright do me? And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And he said, I mean, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. That's in the Bible. Hey, then so Jacob right. gave Esau bread and pottage and lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So what was the birthright? The blessing. He sold it, right? So it wasn't his father that got betrayed. It was Jacob and Esau against each other because they was fighting since the womb. That's right. You would say our people fight right now, right? Look at the world, the way things are. It sucks, right? But the Bible already said we're going to be two manner of people and we're going to struggle against each other, right? But you guys overcame. Even so much so that your forefathers was able to put our forefathers in slavery. Right. Right? right. So that's how when I asked them, if we say we're the Israelites and them guys say they're the Israelites, how could it be possible? He said, well, y'all believe the same thing. No, Ezekiel 36 and 5. Bring it out. It's in the Bible how they were able to set themselves up as the people of Israel. This is Ezekiel. And is not us. Because I know you'll be like, well, you guys are from New Jersey somewhere. How are you guys Israelites, right? Because, watch. This is Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 5. 36. 36, huh? and, verse 36 and 5. Right. It's Ezekiel 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia. What's that word, Idumia? Which, oh, you, what is oh, that word? Selakia. Which have appointed my... No, what is the word, I do? They don't know. Oh, you're asking me, Selakia. Idumia is the is the nation of, of Edom once they took over um, Jerusalem. So basically they gave themselves another name once they moved into that land. That's Instead of being called the Edomites or the children of Esau, they were now known as the, the Idumians. Right, and that goes into the Roman Empire. Wow. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, Selakia. Uh, but, but I spoke against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession. That's how you, you don't have guys like us as Jews in your mind. And you have the guys with the hats and the curly cue, mm. right? But if we gave them the same haircut as them guys, it wouldn't be a stretch that they could be brothers. But, but we couldn't, it would be like, how is he your brother? You see what I'm trying to say? So that's how they got into the land. Everybody understand? Uh -huh. So now you know how they became the people of Israel. And the Israelites are just some guys on the street with microphones, man. Like we just black guys in America. Oh. Huh? It's how it happened. Did you want to get this? What happened? You want to say something? Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> so, so now you know the history of the children of Israel not being in that land and now you know the history of how there's different looking nations. You got white people and you got black people. Right? Yeah. You, would, you would ask, where do Asian people come from? Right? That would be like a third type of phenotype. Right? The Bible actually explains that. It's in the story of Lot. Who's Lot? You heard a lot? That's Abraham's brother. Right? It's his nephew. It's his nephew. It's his nephew. Yeah. Thank yeah, you for the correction. Nephew. Thank you for the correction. Don't believe everything I say. You gotta go and look at it. So now, where you guys come from? What is your forefather? What we just said. No, we're the Israelites. Who came out red all over? Esau. Esau. So you guys are Edomites according to the Bible. And we're Israelites, right? An uh, Israelite is not the same thing as a Hamite. So all black people are not the same, right? right? Like like this, oh, she's not there no more. All right, like when you go to a 7-Eleven, right? That dude is darker than most of us here, right? But you wouldn't call him a black guy, would you? Why, if all that matters is your skin color? You see what I'm trying to say? So it ain't about skin color. It's about nationality. Everybody's got a nationality. People in 7-Eleven stereotypically would be called Elamites. Their forefather is Elam, which goes back to King Darius in Persia. See how that makes sense? 
So Chinese and Japanese, same way. Right. Yep. They're different and people. Moab and Ammon. Mm -hmm. Right? So you guys are Edomites, yes? Yes, sir. All right. Now, what does the Bible say about Edomites? Malachi 1 and 4. Wow. Right. Straight to it. To the nitty gritty. You know. Right. Malachi is before Matthew. No, I got a preset. We have to get to dinner. Thank you so much. We going? We're going. 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 We're uh, Malachi is right before the book of Matthew. It's the last book of the Old Testament. It's like it's not. Your pages are stuck together. Yo, it's right there. Right. I can't get it's right there. there. I was trying to get there. Right. Now, now you got to learn what the Most High said, man. This is the book of uh, Malachi, chapter 1. I'll start at verse 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. Uh, it's like it. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye have... Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord. Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. Now, the Most High hates the Edomites, but why? Why? <laughs> yeah, I heard him. Yeah, right there. Ignore, ignore him. Because they did this. Ezekiel 25 and 14. Been to the this is Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord God. So the Israelites were put in slavery by the Edomites according to the Bible. But history would have you think that the Dutch, French, Portuguese, and British put black people or Africans in slavery. That is not biblical doctrine. Biblical doctrine is Edomites put the Israelites in slavery via ships, would have you believe. Show them that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Select. Ooh, one more page. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The, the Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Mm. Uh -huh. So he says, you're going to go into slavery again, but this time with ships. And what's going to happen? And by the and by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. That was going to happen. The Israelites is going to go into slavery, but a special kind. With boats and you're gonna be sold to your enemies. But the Most High said he hates Esau for doing that. So what are y'all gonna do to fix it? Cause you can't go out like that. Cause if the Most High hates you, what's gonna happen? No, you don't, you don't fight God. <laughs> Destruction. You say you ask for forgiveness? Give me that in uh, Hebrews. Sort it carefully with two. What else could you do? You gotta restore, right? That's the biblical law, right? If you take, you must give back, right? Like my last name is a Irish last name. And you know, Irishmen will tell you, when well, we were slaves too, I'll be like, let's it's look at him. Seven years. Get out of here, that's an indentured servant, man. Right. You guys were whipping my grandfather's back. They got man. landed servants after that. You guys gotta, you gotta restore, right? So what you have to do is you have to go back to your Episcopalian church, and you have to tell them, we're the Edomites, and God currently hates us. And, and, and some black guys on the streets proved it to me out of the Bible. And the only way to get out of this curse is we gotta find a way to restore and bless those guys and get them their land back. But I want you to see what your Episcopalian teacher says to you. Could you imagine? Yeah. Do you think he's gonna agree? No. That you should have, what is he gonna say? He's gonna say it's false. Why? Because. Wait, listen to you guys, listen to you. Because they believe their own thing, and you believe in. Wait. Wait, wait, hold on. It's a different uh, belief. It's a different belief. Taylor. Yeah. Taylor. 
Did we ask you to believe everything we say up here? No, no. We read it, right? Yeah. So how does he have a different belief? Because he read something else. What else is he reading? He's interpreting it a different way. You read it with us. Did we interpret it? <laughs> Just did chill, bro. Cause they don't, I don't want them to feel like it's ganging up on me. Look, we read it for you for you to hear it. Did God say he hated Esau? Right? He said he was going to let the Israelites get vengeance on the people that put his people in sleep. Right? Who would that be today? You guys would be the ones that the, the children of the slaves would be taking the vengeance against. Right? Mm -hmm. That's biblical prophecy. That's very scary. So you got to restore. So you got to figure out how to give us our land back, right? Over in Israel. Is Trump going to help us do that? Uh -oh. nope. Trump tried to give us the land back in Israel? No. What happened when uh, they knelt on that George Floyd guy's neck and then all the riots broke out? Did it seem like Trump sympathized with us? Nope. Trump's an Edomite, right? So he's he's one of your Edomite leaders. He rolls how they roll, man. You guys are new, man. You know, you might you guys might be sympathetic. You might try to understand what black people go through, but your leaders don't give a damn. Man. But because they don't give a damn, you guys got to bear the punishment. Isaiah 14 and 21. This is Isaiah. Look at Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21. Bring it out. <laughs> Prepare a slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. So that they may not do what? That they not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. And who's done that? Who's possessed the lands and filled the face of the world with cities? Oh, there you go. You got to get out of this somehow. The only way to get out is to restore. So you guys have to become the Israelite evangelists. You have to go to your parents and say, look, we're going to be destroyed. God is going to kill us. And, and look, Dad, I didn't even do it, but they showed me in the Bible that I'm going to suffer because of what y'all did. That's right? Great. That's right. You got to prove that to your people, man. Who, who, who? So the Israelites are God's chosen people. The Edomites are their brothers that look a little different. They're, they're red. But you know what that means. Right? And God hates them for putting the Israelites in slavery with ships and taking their land and setting themselves up as the people Amen. and filling the face of the world with cities, taking over everywhere and naming the place. Amerigo Vespucci. This place is America. <laughs> right? The Yosipius Africanus. Yeah. Newfoundland. Greenland. Like, you just take over places, right? You gotta go and explain to your leaders that your whole nation is gonna be destroyed unless you figure out how to restore us to what we're supposed to have. According to the Bible, right? And do you know Jesus came to make sure that that would happen? Who's, you know Jesus? Yes. Oh. You know Jesus? No, he knows Jesus. You know Jesus is a black man? That's right. Yeah, technically he was. Why you say technically? Well, he was, because, I mean, everyone interprets him. No, I can't hear him if y'all all talk. Everyone interprets him as white, because that's how our society has kind of told it everyone but he like where he's from he would not be white do your parents agree with that no hell no but <laughs> no, why do you keep coming around us? oh man but the bible just said you guys gonna be punished for what your parents be thinking and doing so you have to change the world man For you to believe in this book, you gotta have that attitude. You gotta go and tell your parents, Jesus is a so-called black man, because it says it in the Bible. It says his feet is like burnt brass. That's what I look like, right? No? If you guys are red, burnt brass, is that a stretch for my color descriptor? It's a stretch, yeah. Burnt brass is a stretch for my color? Well, if we're red. Do you, do you turn red? Look at your cheeks. Look at your, your ears. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you call a white dude from the South? Redneck. Oh, I wanted him to say it. Oh, I thought that was Yo, this man is crazy. You gotta chill out, Elder. Elder. You gotta chill out. Look, biblical doctrine says you guys gonna suffer for the sins of your forefathers, man. 
Cause we did. Like I didn't. I didn't go into idolatry. I never worshipped like an idol. But I ended up being the son of a slave, man. I had to bear my father's iniquity. It goes the same way in biblical doctrine. So y'all have to change history. You have to be the first Edomites that lobby to get us back to our rightful positions. You gotta end all this racism and wickedness going on. You guys gotta do it. You think that's possible? Yes, it is. How are you gonna do it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up to my parents. Your parents are gonna tell you you are crazy. I know. But you're gonna spend the rest of your life trying to convince them. Is he lying? Hey, hey, hey. Is he lying? Hey. Uh -huh. That's a stretch. Hey, it's hey. a stretch. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh man. That's the only chance you guys got to avoid the destruction. Because you know what? The judgment, the final judgment for uh, Edom is written. Obadiah 1 and 18. You gotta deal with this prophecy. Because the prophecy on us was we're gonna go into slavery with ships, and the most high made it happen. Right. He said, You're gonna serve your enemies. And the most high made it happen. That's right. But there's a prophecy concerning y'all. And the most high don't lie. You gotta see this stuff, man. And you find the scripture? Obadiah wanna eight. Somebody get to Obadiah before me get it. I don't want to do it. Don't rush. I don't my pages are stuck. Ooh. I don't want my oh, pages stuck. Listen. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. Bring it out. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And no, the house... not listening. This is how they're going to get out of this. Read. And the house of Joseph a flame. Those are the Israelites. And the house of Esau for stubble. Uh-oh. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. That's the fate that you guys are gonna have to deal with if you do not reverse the curse. So you gotta you gotta make sure that racism ends. You gotta get us back in our land and everything that's been taken from us. The Native American Indians are Israelites, you know this. From the tribe of Reuben and from the tribe of Gad. That's right. So they gotta get the whole country back. And that's the only way to reverse that judgment. That y'all are gonna be for stubble and there won't be any remaining of you. You understand? That's biblical doctrine. Is Elder Yakina on the scene? All right. You want to say something to them? For, the, for them to try to get out of their judgment? All praises to the mighty one of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Uh, again, right. We say hallelujah, yeah, by Shema Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. Come, Yashallah. Come, Yashallah. All right, somebody give me Galatians 6 and 7. Man. I only probably already came out. And give me uh, Isaiah 14 and 20. And then 21. I know. Um, Got Galatians. All right, all praises. Bring it up. Galatians 6 and 7. The book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it out. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. He's not mocked. You know what mocking is? Mm -mm. You know what it means to be mocked? Taunting. What is it? Like taunting and making fun of someone. Say it again. Like taunting and making fun of someone. Well, taunting and making, that's part of it. But he's not mocked. Meaning, if he says something, it's going to come to pass. All right? He's not mocked. If he says something, that means whatever he says, whatever he established, is going to come to pass. All right? Read. It's like, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Whatsoever a man. And we can also, when you look at the word man, it's also dealing with men. What men sow, they reap. You notice that we bless the mighty one of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because I know it's already been brought out, but that's who the promises were made to. So the promises were made to those men. Why were those promises made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Do you know that it is, though? Uh, According to the scriptures. Are you a Christian? I am a Christian. Okay, well, you should know that. That's that's Christianity 101. The promises of, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Where you go, Romans? Yeah, let's, go, let's go to Romans 9. We're going we're gonna to take you to school. Really well, you're going to have to get going. You're going to captivity. That's where you're going to have to get going to. And you just accept your judgment. All right? All right. Accept your judgment. Hey, the wicked flee. <laughs> wicked flee. You know, that's why I didn't want to come up. I know. I know. It happens every time. It happens every time. It happens every time. But let's, let's finish. All praise. Hey, I appreciate your talk. Uh, Y'all were all, man. This is a, a real righteous brother, man. All praises.
to the most high for this brother and for Sons of Thunder, all you right, brothers, God. man, that do this week in and week out, man. You come out here and you sacrifice according to the scriptures, Romans 12 and 1. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be living sacrifices. That's all right. All right? So, you know, we see that, man. The wicked always flee with none pursue it. That's right. And he's always telling on himself. Always telling on himself through his character. All right, bring it up. Bring it up. Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. Bring it up. I wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach Yahawashai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. And we know that's Apostle Paul. Come on. Who are Israelites? Israelites. What? Who Israelites. are Israelites? Come on. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. And the promises, man. So that's they right. all belong to us. And we just go back to that Galatians 6, 7. And what did uh, uh, you hold it? Yeah, get Isaiah 14, 20 and 21. Go ahead. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it out. Be not deceived. The most high God is not mocked. He's not mocked. Come All right, come on. For whatsoever a man soweth. Whatsoever a man or men. All right? right. Men make up, uh, it's a man that make up men. Whatever right. men or man sows, come on. That shall he also reap. It ain't no getting away, man. That's right. It ain't no getting away. Uh, give me Exodus 34 and 7. You read what you got. You want me to start at 20? You start at 20. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 20. Bring it out. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial. That's talking about the Israelites, man. We're mm. not going to be joined with the heathens in burial, man. Mm -mm. Come on. Because thou hast destroyed thy land. Because you've destroyed the Israelites' land. We're not going to be joined with you. Come on. And slain thy people. And slain their people. We just read whatever man sows, he reaps. This can't happen because the Most High is not mocked. We're not going to be joined. I don't care if you try to join it. If you try to get gorilla glue like the sister did with her hair. Bring it up. It's not going to stick. That's right. We got to understand this, man. It's not going to stick. Come on. The seed of evildoers right. shall never be renounced. They shall renowned. what? The seed of evil do evildoers shall never be renowned. Renowned. Renowned, renowned or like renowned. It's That's renowned. Right. They shall never be renowned. Time. They're not acknowledged. We know that right. the Most High says they're spittle. Right. All right? Huh. All right. Bring it up. Huh. Verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, right. that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. It's not going to happen again. And that's because the Most High is not mocked. Let's put that's our hands right. together for the Most High who's not mocked. Right. The great and terrible power right. whose name is set apart by Shema Mashiach. Yeah. It's the book of Exodus chapter 34 in verse 7. Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. And sin. And this, who was he talking to here? This is mm. Exodus. Right. Who was he talking? This is his Israel. promise. This is what he does. He forgives, and he's going to forgive Israel. That's All right? right? Come on, because that's who the promises were made to. That's Come right. on. And that will be no means clear the guilty. But he's not going to clear your guiltiness. Because that Galatians 6, 7 stands for all of us standing here. That's right. He's also not mocked in that respect. Good. All right? That goes for every. Don't, don't We hear that, that he's not mocked, and we see Esau, he goes down the block. You know, his judgment is sealed. But he's not mocked concerning Israel either. All right. All right. Just because you're Israel in name, you have to be Israel indeed. That's mm, right. Your God. profession got to meet your conduct. All right. It's not enough just to say that you're Yasha Allah. It's not just enough to say Kwam Yasha Allah. You got to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That's right. It's the doers of the word. It's not the hearers. The hearers only. Most high is not mocked. Man. Right. That's Come right. On. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children. Now, in that, look at the parallel even with Esau. Right. Esau sealed because he sold his birthright. But that same power, that same great and terrible power whose eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun right. is looking at Yasha Allah. That's he's right. looking at each and every one of us. And he's not mocked. So he's going to visit iniquity on us. If we continue to transgress his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Right. Come on. Unto the third and the fourth generation. Unto the third and the fourth generation. That's it on that? Gone. All right. Read what you got. You got a question? Yeah. All right. Well, let me get the scripture, then you can bring it out. Come yeah. on. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it out. And said, I beseech thee, O Yahweh, power of heaven, the great and terrible God. The what? The, the great, great and terrible, terrible God. God. I thought he was just good. Nah. <laughs> 
thought he was good all the time. We, we reading in the Bible. It said great and terrible. We talk about the same one that delivered us out of the land of, out of Egypt. That's right. With a stretched out might, uh, mighty hand. This is what we got to respect. That's right. When it talks about putting respect on his name, this is what we got to do. Go That's on. right. That keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him. And keeping what? Keeping covenant and mercy for them that love him. That do what? That, that love, love him. him. That love him. Right. Come on. And observe his commandments. And do what? And observe, and observe his, his commandments. commandments. I'll just see. I mean, I can and come right there. You got, you got a question?